Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a DC to AC inverter using an ordinary phone charger. So we're going to start by taking apart the phone charger. All you're going to be using from the charger is the transformer. Okay, once you've got your transformer out, it'll look like this. There we have four pins, as you can see the four pins and two pins at the back, which I call the back, front or back, whatever. Um, okay, the, the two pins on the left-hand side will equal to six ohms, which I measured, and 0 0.5 ohms on the right-hand side, and then 0 0.1 ohms at the back. Okay, so that transformer will go there. Then we need a transistor. This is a D882 transistor. Okay, now just be very careful with this. In a picture, the transistor will look like this, emitter, collector and base. But in a wiring diagram, it will look like this, base, emitter and collector. It looks like the base is in the middle of the wiring diagram. You have to wire it like it is in the wiring diagram, okay, otherwise it won't work. So, our transistor, we need a heat sink for the transistor because the transistor gets really hot. You're going to need a three and a half volt battery. Okay, or three volts, doesn't matter. Then we need a switch. And then we need our 220 volt AC light bulb. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, 220 volt light bulb. Okay. Oh, one more thing. We need a 33 ohm resistor. Okay. So let's put all these ingredients together and see what inverter we can make. Okay, for starters, we are going to screw our transistor to our heatsink. Let's make sure that the, the metal side is onto the heatsink like that. So let's go ahead and screw that on. Okay, once we got our transistor screwed into position, we're going to take our transformer and connect the transistor to the transformer. Now, as you can see, this is the emitter, collector, and base. And over here, we got a base, emitter, and collector. So we're gonna follow this wiring diagram, but we're gonna use um, the base and collector from the drawing over here. So you take the base and connect it to the left-hand side of the 0.5 coil, and the collector, is going to go to the right hand side of the 0 0.1 ohm coil. So we're going to take the base and the collector. So this is the base and the collector, and we're going to connect it to that, that side of the coil, one there, that side, and then one on that side. Okay, so now you can see where this is joined onto. Okay, so now we need to put our resistor on, and our resistor is going to go from that one over there, that side, this pin over here, all the way to this pin over here. So let's go ahead and stick our resistor on. Okay, so we can see that our resistor will be connected to the 0 0.1 ohm coil on the left hand side, and will also be connected to our 0 0.5 ohm coil on the right hand side. So that'll be connected over there on the corner and onto the side over here. Okay, so let's go and solder that on.
Okay, so now we need to connect our emitter to the negative side of the battery. I'm just gonna put a switch in series. So that's what we're gonna do now. So here's our emitter. Okay, we're gonna connect a switch to the emitter and then it's gonna come out the other side and go to our battery. Okay, so let's solder that on. Okay, so now that we got our emitter connected to our switch and uh, the negative part of the battery, and now we're gonna put a positive lead to the resistor, which is over here onto the transformer. And so that will be connected to the resistor and the transformer. As you can see, the positive connects to the resistor and the transformer. So let's go and solder that on. And then lastly, we can connect our 220 volt light bulb right, onto, onto these two terminals over there. Okay, so let's go and solder those on. Okay, so now that we've got everything soldered into position, let's give this a test. And there you have it, a DC to AC inverter. All right, it doesn't quite measure 220 volts, but it still converts DC to AC. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.